when I was growing up, our family did the whole station wagon thing, you know, and we went to the Rambler station wagon until we finally got an Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. And they were good times in the family. As kids, we all bounced around. There was four of us. And then finally, in around 68 or 69, Dad got his first sedan where that was the primary car for the family. No more station wagons. And the thing I remember about it was what Dad put in the trunk. For the rest of his life, I think until the day he died in his Lexus 400 that they pulled out of the trunk after he died, he kept golf clubs there. Now, Dad would have golfed every single day. But back in the late 60s, when he first started putting his golf clubs there, he didn't get to golf on a regular basis. And in the 70s, as he got older and he retired, then he golfed a lot more. And he continued to golf, but he always kept them in the trunk of his car as a reminder that there was something he was supposed to be about that was part of his heart, part of his life. It was just a part of what he wanted to be. He wanted to be on the golf course. And every single time he opened his trunk, there were his golf clubs. Do you have a reminder today in your life of what it is that you want to be about? Of the good things that you would like to be doing in your life. I remember coming back from Kenya the first time and I had received a gift of a Maasai bracelet. They're tight, they're about an inch thick, they're brightly colorful and they're beaded. If you saw one, you'd recognize it. Someone gave it to me and asked me to keep it on as a reminder of the tribe that I'd been working with. I put it on and I wore it for over a year. People would ask me about it constantly and I had the opportunity to share with them what my heart is like for Kenya as I prepare to go to Kenya in July. I've been thinking about wearing one again, just as a reminder of what I'm going into. Think about people who carry a cross in their pocket with their change, so every single time they get out their change, they're reminded of the joy of their salvation and the joy of just who they are and their relationship with God. But most of all, I think about my dad keeping golf clubs in the trunk of the car all the time just so he could be ready at any moment to hit the course. And every time he had to open that trunk, he was reminded of at the core of his being who he really wanted to be. And that was a guy out on the golf course. Do you know who you really want to be today? And what are you keeping in your life to remind you of it? Where do you keep it? Do you keep it someplace where you have to see it every day? In your pocket? On your wrist? In the trunk of your car? Where when you look at it, you think, man, I want to be back about that. I want to get to that right now. My prayer for you today is that you can just be amazing. That, in fact, you would not just be amazing, but that you would be the miracle in your world today because you've kept a reminder that you know who you are and you know where you want to be and what you'd like to be doing. Not ashamed, but right there up front, ready to go out and hit the links, ready to go out and share the story of your friends in Kenya again, ready to go out and tell the story of your salvation, ready to be you at your very best. What's your reminder today? Dig around, figure out what it is, and if you don't have one, make one. Build one into your life. It'll make you the miracle everywhere you go. God bless you. Thanks so much for tuning in this morning. Have a fantastic day.